Hi guys, welcome to Trick Hunt. What a series, my dear friends. What is this? Rain, rain, rain in New Zealand. The whole series has been dampened. As you know, this one day series between India and New Zealand in New Zealand, ultimately New Zealand wins the series 1 0. They would have probably been 2 up by, by today's match, but unfortunately, in the 18th over, when New Zealand chasing a very paltry total score by Indians 219, I mean, the New Zealand going great guns, and 18th over the match is washed out. I mean, this is very unfortunate. I mean, I think the timing also, when you put the roster, the timing also should be fine. I'm talking about the FTP, because you should understand, yes, certain places it rains too much, but this series has been a damp in it, whether it's a T20 series or a one day series. But then, only good thing from the Indians' point of view, let me put that, yes, I mean, the Indians' point of view, the big game in the series are, I would say, Shukman Gill. And I was, I was quite impressed by Shreyas, I was not playing in the sense that on a ceiling wicket, you know how the Indian batsmen struggle, beaten so many times. But Shreyas, I have played with drives very well. But the most guy, the guy who really impressed me most was in the series was Washington Sundar. One thing is a great revelation, that was Washington Sundar, as you all know, in Australia when he made his test debut, he became a good all-rounder, bowled well in Brisbane test match, which India won against Australia a couple of years back, and then batted well, and then continued back. Now, we have found a bowler who can bat well. I mean, he got a 50 in the one-day match, which is fantastic. Well done, Washi, very happy for you. Then overall, if you look at the series, the other game for India is Shukman Gill. So only three good games, I would say. Shukman Gill, Washington Sundar, and to a certain extent, Shreyas I mean, Shreyas yes, he was beaten so many times. But then he realizes what his limitations are. Yes, even though he has a limitation with the short ball, but then anything pitched up, he drove very well. Anything also off him, he cut very well. I mean, he played very sensible cricket. I would say typical passengers cricket, the typical Bombay type of cricketer. But Washington Sundar proved now. Everybody knows he has a talent as a batsman. Today, he played some lovely shots, pulling, driving, flicking, which is fantastic. Good to see Washington Sundar blossoming as an all-rounder, which is very, very important because India needs all-rounders. That's where I think Washi will make a huge what you call, impact probably in the future, God willing, if he continues his consistent performance. I mean, overall, otherwise, there's nothing much to talk about this match. As you know, rain affected match. What can you write? It's a dampening effect. That's what I would say. Dampening effect. It's, a, it's just a dampening effect, I would say. Nothing else. And uh, so, now let's go on to Bangladesh. Let's see what happens. The one day series is going to happen in Bangladesh shortly. Let's see what happens. The preparations for the World Cup started to start, has already started. So now everything will go on like this. So we'll have to do all the trial and error process and make sure the World Cup team is a good team. Well, when the World Cup happens in India in 2023, same time, earlier, I mean, less than one year, uh, same time. Thanks for watching, dear viewers. Now we all go to Bangladesh. Next week, the one day series starts in Bangladesh. Let's see what happens. And by the time the new selectors, I hope, will be in place also. And then the new selection committee will be in place. Let's see what we have in store and let's see how they select the team for the World Cup next year in 2023 in India.